Today you'll learn when and how to use the sources you find in your research. Hello Bruins! Finding sources for a research assignment can be hard enough, but the biggest challenge is actually using those sources effectively in your work. Not just citing them correctly, actually using them well. This is a skill that can be tricky to master, but hopefully this video will teach you how to actually use research. Let's back up. The reason your instructor is having you research at all is to have you develop information literacy. This is the ability to know when information is needed, find it, and successfully use that information to solve the original information need. Essentially, you know when you have a question that requires additional information to answer and how to find it. To set yourself up for success, don't approach research as an additional step you tack on to the end of your process. Instead, Think of it like you're trying to solve a puzzle, and the sources you find are the pieces you need to solve it. Here's how. Always start a research project with a research question. This is the question you're trying to answer in the process of completing your assignment. A research question is similar to a thesis or a main idea, which will come a bit later in the process. Sometimes your instructor will give you a research question or research questions in the form of a topic or literal questions you need to answer. Other times you'll have free reign to pick your topic and your research question. This can be intimidating at first, so I'd brainstorm a few things that interest you that relate to the class in some way. I say a few because sometimes there won't be any sources addressing a certain topic. This is great in higher academia, when that means you get to go out and conduct your own study, but for now, we want to stick to areas where we can actually find sources. So have a few different ideas ready in case you can't find sources for your first choice. As you research, you're looking for sources that help you answer your question in some way. And if we're building our answer on our sources, we want to be sure the information in those sources is trustworthy. Ask yourself when you're reading why this source should be trusted. Essentially, why will this source be part of what you base your answer on? We have another video going in-depth on how to determine whether a source is trustworthy if you need tips for what information to consider in this part of the process. Once you've assembled the number of sources you need, go through them and decide on an answer to your research question based on the information you've found. As an example, if your initial question is whether or not solar energy can save you money, your answer or thesis statement might be that solar energy can save you money by X, Y, and Z, or solar energy cannot save you money because X and Y. You might have conflicting information in your sources, which you can also reflect in your thesis if you think the evidence is strong enough. For example, while it can be expensive to set up solar panels, they can still save you money in the long term because of X and Y. Congratulations! You've just built a thesis! That is the hardest part of research coming up with a question and finding the answer. Now your actual paper will be justifying your thesis. And because we started with a question, our justification will be the reasons we decided on our answer. One way to do it is to break down the specific points of your thesis. So for example, in this broad template of X can Y because of A, B, and C, we might spend one paragraph each proving A, B, and C using our sources. It might take more than one paragraph to fully address a certain point, which is completely fine. This is just a general framing to help you structure your paper in a way that makes sense and ties back to your thesis. So let's consider point A first. We'll want to go through our sources and find passages and quotes that talked about A in relation to our thesis. You're essentially walking your reader through your thought process in coming to your thesis statement. So when you use a quote, don't just put it there. Talk about what it means and how it led you to decide on the answer you did. Same for paraphrasing. When you sum up someone else's findings, discuss what those findings say about your original question. Remember when writing that every sentence and paragraph should build to your thesis in some way, so keep checking in and making sure each use of your sources demonstrates the main point in some way. And if it's not clear on their own, make sure you're drawing out those connections with your writing. When you approach your research assignment like you're bringing the pieces together to build one big picture, it becomes much easier to outline your main points and gives you plenty to discuss instead of feeling like you're droning on and on to fill up the page requirement. Trust me, I've been there. Research actually makes that part easier. More importantly, 
Thinking about research this way helps you develop information literacy, which has uses outside of academic research. What if someday you need to find someone to fix your heater? Well, you'll want to know who the best option will be. You'll find different sources of help, compare their trustworthiness and other merits, and eventually determine a particular option is best because of price, time availability, or skill. That's the same process of turning a research question into a thesis, even if you don't need to demonstrate your thought process written out the same way you do as in an assignment. But your boss might need you to compare two different options, and with this skill set, you'll be able to find information on both, weigh the pros and cons, and determine the best option, and explain your reasoning. These are skills you'll use throughout life, and it's the reason you're doing research at all. In an academic setting, you need to do more to show that you're approaching the thought process correctly, which is why you're writing the essay. But once you master that, you'll find it much easier to find answers to life's many questions. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video helps you feel prepared to use sources skillfully. As we saw in this video, your initial research question can be one of the most important aspects of your whole assignment. If you need help developing a good research question, or anything else at all related to library research, please reach out to Morris Library. Give us a call at 269-965 4122, email at reference at kellogg.edu, or use the link in the description to use our 24-7 chat service.